thousands of mirrors in the California desert. Just like sunflowers, they follow the sun, reflecting its heat on this central tower. Inside, water boils into steam that drives a turbine and creates electricity. The facility at eSolar is the only one of its kind in the U.S., a potential model for solar energy production on a power plant scale. Approximately 900 homes can be powered with a megawatt of electricity. Um, so we're looking at uh, approximately 3,600 homes um, that are powered from this facility when it's operational. But the plant only produces electricity when the sun shines. It can't store energy. That's a problem another company, Solar Reserve, is working on. In their model, mirrors called heliostats also reflect the sun on a central tower. But inside, molten salt traps the heat and can be used to boil water into steam at any time, not just when it's sunny. With our storage technology, we actually can look much like a conventional power generating facility, and we can provide nice, uh, non-interruptible non power during the peak periods. Reliable, renewable energy, and environmentally safe. That's good news in California. Dotted with megacities, its energy needs are expected to grow by almost 10% over the next decade. So if you think about all the people that live in Los Angeles Basin and live in San Diego, they're actually very close to the Mojave Desert, which is one of the best solar resources in the world. But the cost still remains a huge obstacle. Thermal solar facilities are less expensive than those powered with photovoltaic cells, but still pricier than coal-powered plants.